Yeah, it's been a rough week. With only 10 days left in the session, uh, we were handed a couple setbacks this week, but the session's not over, and there's still a path ahead. Uh, I'm Daniel Williams, Legislative Specialist and Field Organizer with Equality Texas. Now, let's talk about what happened. On Wednesday, the Texas House, despite bipartisan opposition, narrowly passed an amendment giving officially recognized student organizations at state universities the ability to discriminate against other students. The amendment by Matt Krause of Fort Worth instructs the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board to work to prevent state universities from instituting what are called all-comers policies for officially recognized student groups. These all-comer policies, which are fairly common, require that student groups that use taxpayer-funded resources at the schools and have access to the student activity fees paid into by all students be open to all students. It's a fairly straightforward idea. If you take public money, you have to accept the public. If you don't want to be open to all students, simply don't take the money. And let's be clear. There's nothing stopping, nor should there be, a student from creating an exclusive club that discriminates against other students. It's only when we start talking about taxpayer-funded resources and student activity fees that the all-comers policies start kicking in. When Krauss originally filed this legislation as House Bill 360, his intentions were clear. He wanted to make sure that student groups were allowed to discriminate based on race, based on gender, and based on sexual orientation. Now, he's since revised his talking points and is now claiming that the legislation is needed to prevent subversives from infiltrating the student groups. Uh, he's also claiming that the amendment protects LGBT students since it would mean they could discriminate if they wanted to, too, and keep out the subversives. Now, I've asked around, I've talked to the leaders of student LGBT groups from state schools all over Texas, and none of them have told me that they fear an organized takeover of their clubs, or that anything like this has ever happened. It seems the only person paranoid enough to think that college students have nothing better to do with their time than organize conspiratorial coups of other student groups is Matt Krause. Now, there are several steps in the legislative process before this amendment becomes law, and I'm very hopeful that it will be removed soon. In the meantime, we are continuing to work to pass our endorsed legislation and to fight against other bad bills and amendments. We've only got 10 days left. Each of them is a deadline for something or other. And those upcoming deadlines work against us, but they also work against the enemies of equality. If you're in San Antonio this weekend, be sure to join us Sunday morning for the Spirit of Texas Brunch, featuring our special guest, actress Sharon Gless of Queer and Folk and Cagney and Lacey fame. Tickets are available online, and we'll put that link in the comments. Until next week, I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas.